Hola estudiantes, buenos días y como están? Hi students, how are you? Espero que todo están bien. I hope everybody's doing great. Vamos a comenzar. Let's begin. Buenos días, buenos días. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien, gracias. Muy bien, gracias. ¿Y cómo te vas? ¿Cómo te vas? Bueno, so we are going to be quickly reviewing what we did in our last lesson and then we are going to get into our new lesson. Great. So we were looking at los países hispanohablantes, the Spanish-speaking countries, y sus capitales and their capitals. And we were asking, ¿cuál es la capital de the different Spanish-speaking countries? What is the capital of particular Spanish countries? So, ¿cuál es la capital de Argentina? What is the capital of Argentina? We would answer by saying, la capital de Argentina es Buenos Aires. If I ask, ¿cuál es la capital de Bolivia? What is the capital of Bolivia? Our answer would be, la capital de Bolivia es La Paz. ¿Cuál es la capital de Chile? We would answer by saying, la capital de Chile es Santiago. ¿Cuál es la capital de Colombia? Our answer, la capital de Colombia es Bogotá. ¿Y cuál es la capital de Costa Rica? We answer by saying, la capital de Costa Rica es San Jose. And for others, you have Cuba, which the capital is what arena? Havana, oh na na. Si, sí, la capital de Cuba es Havana. There's also uh, la República Dominicana, Dominican Republic, and the capital is Santo Domingo. Ecuador, capital is Quito, El Salvador, the capital is San Salvador, there is Equatorial Guinea or Guinea Equatorial, their capital is Malabo, this one is in Africa, there is Honduras y la capital is Tegucigalpa, Tegucigalpa, Tegucigalpa. Next we have Mexico City, which um sorry Mexico and the capital is Mexico City. But in Spanish we should say La Ciudad de Mexico. Muy bien. There's also Nicaragua. La capital de Nicaragua is Managua. There is Panama. Y la capital de Panama is La Ciudad de Panama. So Panama City in Spanish is called La Ciudad de Panama. There is Paraguay. ¿Cuál es la capital de Paraguay? La capital de Paraguay es Asunción. Cap um, Paraguay's capital is Asunción. There is Peru. And the capital for Peru, la capital de Peru es Lima, not Lima. Lima, not Lama. Lima. Puerto Rico. ¿Cuál es la capital de Puerto Rico? La capital de Puerto Rico es San Juan. Not Juan, Juan. H. J sounds like the H, all right? Now, next is Spain or España. So we ask, ¿cuál es la capital de España? Our answer should be, la capital de España es Madrid. Next is Uruguay. ¿Cuál es la capital de Uruguay? Our answer, la capital de Uruguay es Montevideo. Next, Venezuela. ¿Cuál es la capital de Venezuela? And we say, la capital de Venezuela es Caracas. So I hope you have all been looking, um, studying, well, uh, focusing on the different Spanish-speaking countries. You're able to identify where they are located on the map, and you also know what their capitals are as well. So today we're moving on to a new topic, and we're looking at a subject that some of you really really like some of you may not really like what we're looking at las matemáticas and las matemáticas sounds just like what do you think it is mathematics we're going to be doing las matemáticas in espanol we're going to be doing mathematics in spanish now we started this in grade three with just addition and subtraction but in grade four we're going to be doing addition subtraction division and multiplication in espanol in spanish but we're going to start off with the basics which is addition good so, we know that when we're doing addition, we have to know what the different numbers are, right? We have to know uh, what the numbers are in Spanish. We have to know how to say to add in Spanish and also, also how to say equal. So, first thing, let's see if we remember how to count from 1 to 30 in Spanish. Cuentan conmigo. I want you to count with me. So, vámonos. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. And that's 1, 2, 30. The easier ones. Now, I'm going to allow you to watch a short video. The link is on your activity sheets. Go ahead and click the link. And this is going to be introducing you guys to from numbers 1. And it's going to go all the way up to 50. So just to remind you of what those numbers are, go ahead, escuchen, leyen también, y canten. So you're going to sing, look, listen, all of that. And we're doing numbers 1 to 50 today. And in our next class, we'll move on to higher numbers, bigger numbers. So let's go. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. All right. So I hope you enjoyed the song and I hope that it was able to refresh your memories so you can remember what the numbers 1 to 50 are in Espanol. Now, I have to break down something for you before we get into our ad ad addition because some persons usually have problems remembering these. Now, remember now, when we're counting and we're at 11, 11 becomes 11. 12 becomes 12, D-O-C-E, 12 should not be mixed up with dos, D-O-S. 12 is 12, 12 is 2. 13, T-R-E-C-E, is 13, while 13, T-R-E-S, is 3. 14 is 14, C-A-T-O-R-C-E, while 4 is 4. They sound similar, but please don't mix them up, all right? Then there's 15. 15 then we're, more, we're on now to 16 now the numbers 16 through 19 is a combination of two numbers so 16 is going to be dsc says ds comes from the number 10 which is ds e is actually and it represents and or plus in spanish in this case and then now says is six so 10 and 6 when you put them together you get 16 that's how you get dsc says 10 and 6. 17, 17, 10 and 7. 18, 18, 10 and 8. 19, 19, 10 and 9. And then now 20 is a bit different. That is 20. Now, another thing you also uh, have a bit of difficulties to remember, as I have noticed as well, is counting from 21 to 29 in Spanish. Now, some persons would say 20 y. Now, in Spanish, when we're adding, or if we want to say and in Spanish, we're going to use the word e, which is just the letter y. It means and, and it also means to add, which we're going to be using more of today. So, when we are adding in Spanish now, we're adding using e, cool? So, 21 now is going to be this, 21. Now, we're not going to say 20 y uno. 21 to 29 is a bit different from all the other numbers. So it's 21, one word, V-E-I-N-T-I-U-N-O. 21, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 26, 27, 28, 29, 29. So it's not 21 or 22 or 29. For 21 to 29, it's different from the others. So it's just one word 21, 22, 25, 29. Good? But now from numbers 31 to 39, 41 to 49, 51 to 59, 61 to 69, etc., it's going to follow this format. So 20 is 20. 30 is 30. Now, remember we said that E, the letter Y, is used when we're adding. It also means and. So if I want to say 31, it's going to be 30, which is 30. E, which means and or plus uno. 30 plus one or 30 and one, which gives us 31. That's how we say 31 in Spanish. And it's translated as 30 plus one in English, okay? 32 becomes 30 
y 2, 33, 30 y 3, 34, 30 y 4, 35, 30 y 5, etc. So you get the idea for 30 and 31 to 39. Goes all the way up to 30 y 9. Good? Now 41 to 49 is the same pattern. So it's 40 y 1, 40 plus 1, 40 y 2, 42, 40 and 2, or 40 plus 2 gives you 42, 40 y 3, 40 plus 3, or 40 and 3 gives you 43, 40 y 4, 44, or 40 plus 4, 40 y 5, 40 plus 5, or 40 and 5 gives you 45, then you have 46, 47, 48, 49, and then we come to 50, which is 50. So, don't mix up 21 to 29 with all the other numbers. 21 to 29 is 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 27, 28, 29. 31 to 39, 30 y 1, 30 y 2, or 40 y 5, 40 y 6, 40 y 7, 40 y 8, 40 y 9, then 50, which is 15. Bueno, so we are adding today in Espanol. So we're asking, ¿cuántos son? ¿Cuántos son? Is simply asking, how many are there? ¿Cuántos son? How many are there? So we're adding, for example, if we're using four numbers, we're going to say, for example, oops, lo siento mucho. We're going to say, for example, for example, 20 plus 20 20 plus 20 when you add those two numbers up you get 40 now 40 in spanish is 40 40 in spanish is 40 so for the activity that you will be getting if you see it in a format like this you're simply going to write your answer in spanish on the line good so 20 plus 20 gives you 40 40 in spanish is 40 next 17 plus 17. 17 plus 17 in English gives us 34. But in Spanish, 34 is 30 y 4. It is 30 y 4. Next example, 30 plus 14. Now, if you add 30 plus 14 in Spanish, you are going to get 44. 44 in Spanish is 40 y 4. 40 y 4, 44. And then another example, 12 plus 12. We all know that 12 plus 12 gives us 24. 24 in Spanish, though, is going to be 24. Not 20 y 4, but 24. Comprende? Good. Now, another format now is if we're doing it in words. So that means you're going to be seeing it like this. And these examples are going to be on your activity sheet as well. So, vamos a comenzar. Número 5. It says, 6 y 6 son. This means, 6 plus 6 equals. 6 y 6 son means, 6 plus 6 equals. And if we add 6 plus 6, we get the number 12, and 12 in Spanish is 12. So, I means to add, and son means, in this case, equal. Okay, so, 6 y 6 son 12. 6 plus 6 equals 12. Okay, now for the next example, it says, 20 y 30 son 50. 50 is the answer. 20, we know 20 is 20. E is plus. 30 is 30. And when we add those two together, we get 50. So, 20 y 30 son 50. 20 plus 30 gives us 50. The next example says, 16 y 16 son and the answer we got was 32 16 is what number again it is 16 plus 
16, which is equal to 32. So, 16 y 16 son 32. 16 plus 16 equals 32. And for the ultimate, it is 10 y 11 son 10 y 11 son 21, which means 10 is 10 y means plus 11 means 11 son means equal and then 21 is 21 so it's 10 y 11 son 21 I hope everybody is understanding but let's just go through it one more time so 20 plus 20 gives you 40 40 in Spanish is 40 17 plus 17 gives you 34 and 34 in Spanish is 34 30 plus 11 gives us is this 30 plus oh sorry 30 plus 14 gives us 44 and 44 in Spanish is 45 there's also 12 plus 12 in Sp 12 plus 12 and in Spanish uh, 12 plus 12 gives us 24 but in Spanish we say 24 now we have some other examples here in words so it's 6 y 6 son which means 6 plus 6 equals and we know that 6 plus 6 gives us 12 and 12 in Spanish is 12 now 20 y 30 son 20 plus 30 equals when we add that up we get 50 which is 50 16 y 16 son this is 16 plus 16 equals and our answer is 32 which is 32 y la otra 10 y 11 son 21, which is 10 plus 11 equals 21. So, you're going to be completing two activities for me. And for the first activity, you're going to be getting some questions in words like this, in Spanish. Now, you're going to be translating the following to English, which means that you're going to be writing in numeric form. Just like I did here, you're going to write the numbers. If you get 6, you're going to write the word 6. If you see it. You put the plus sign if you see says you put six again if you see the word son you put the equal sign and then your answer should be both in spanish and english because you're going to be writing the problems over in english which is just the numbers guys and the symbols and then now the spanish words for the answers good so that's for the first activity now the second activity you're going to be given numbers like this and all you have to do for that one is to um, add your numbers together and write your answers in Spanish just like I did right here so if you get the numbers 20 plus 20 all you have to do is write what 20 plus 20 gives you but in Spanish bueno so remember for the first activity you're, you're going to be given the numbers the Spanish number names and the problems are going to be in Spanish so you have to write the numbers and the symbols that each word represents. So seis means six, y means plus, seis means six again, son means equal, and then your answer should be in both Spanish, and then you're going to write the number as well that it represents. All right, everybody? So I hope everybody has been understanding. And I'll be sending the answer sheets for you to check your answers at a later date so you can see how well you're doing, all right? So for now we sing adios 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 adios